I'm Vanessa Ruck and I'm here in the XL Moto garage to have a look at some of the 2022 adventure kit from Revit. I'm here with a full outfit from the 2022 Revit Adventure catalog and these are items for hot weather riding. So let's take a look at some of the specs that make this the ideal high temperature, super ventilated outfit. We're gonna be looking at the Cayenne 2 jacket and trousers. We're then gonna have a look at what you could wear on your hands and feet with the Expedition GTX boots and the Cayenne 2 gloves. So first of all, let's start off with the jacket. Now this outfit really is designed for hot weather riding. So the first thing I wanna notice about this is the color. There's no dark, heavy black material and that's gonna be designed to keep you cool when the sun rays are beaming down on top of you. There's a lot of extra features in this jacket to get that air flowing and your temperature controllable. So first of all then, let's look at the air vents that are in this jacket and the most obvious one of that is actually the material that they have chosen to use. So this is Scholler mesh. So all of this gray area here, across the arms, the back, down into the legs, and across the rear of the shoulders, is one of the strongest construction materials used in mesh. And it's designed to be highly abrasive and resistant to tear, while also allowing the airflow to go through it and that is going to keep you cool so this whole chest area is going to allow air onto your torso so this mesh is such a high airflow material that they don't actually have any vents built into this jacket so that's a bit of a sign as to how cool you're going to be able to be just with that mesh alone moving on to protection there is a c flex armor in the shoulder and the elbow. This is CE certified to level two. There is a sea soft back protector in this jacket. I will show you once we open it up in a moment, but it is quite a thin material. So if you're used to a more traditional, solid sort of level two CE back protector, you might want to think about getting an additional back protector to wear with this. There are lots of options on the XL Moto website. The jacket does also have capacity built in for a sea soft chest protection to go in. Again, it is a smaller form soft protection than that level two hard protection, which you have in the shoulders and the elbows. The overall jacket is a CE class AA in terms of its protection in the garment. We do have some reflective tapes across the jacket to give you a little bit of extra visibility and security out on the road to know that you're being seen if you were out at night. And on the practical side of things, there's a lot going on in this jacket. So first of all, we have the pockets down at the front. These have a zipper opening to make sure that your belongings are secure, but they also have a really nice big flap. So if, for example, you are riding in the desert, you're gonna have a little bit better chance of less sand getting into your pockets. The pocket is medium sized, it's not huge, but again, that is nice and secure. Making up for the size of those pockets is the big pocket on the back of the jacket. So here we have a Velcro flap and there is a vast pocket here, big enough even to put a whole load of maps in it if you wanted. And there is a zip that goes all the way around and releases that pocket to go, gosh, an extra two and a bit inches or so deeper in size. So that's a really big practical space to be able to put things. When it comes to the fitting sizing of the jacket, there are a few adjustments that we can see here that are gonna enable you to get a nice snug fit. So you've got two on the waist. You also then have two on the arm, one on the lower arm, one on the upper arm, and Velcro adjustments down here on the wrist. So you're gonna get a nice snug fit around your gloves. A really cool feature about this jacket is the fact that it is actually hydration pack ready. So spin the jacket round, we can see a big zip across the back. And in there is a nice decent sized pouch. It goes as long as my arm to take a hydration pack. There is a little loop at the top which you can put around the top of your hydration pack. That is gonna keep the hydration pack hanging nice and centrally in your back, 
distributing the weight across your shoulders. And depending on your preference, you have a hole on either side here. If I can poke my finger through, there we go. So you can have your straw from the camelback coming out on either side of the jacket. And there are some little tabs that you can then carry and continue that pipe through to the front to keep it secure so it's not flapping around whilst you're riding along. So you can keep hydrated as you're adventuring. Another little nice safety feature that Revit has built into this jacket is the capability to attach one of their neck braces. So the Segar neck brace will clip and attach to this jacket. There's little things things up here that it will attach to. I uh, haven't got the neck brace in hand, so I can't demonstrate that, but you can obviously check out the neck braces on the XL Moto website to see what might be suitable. Okay, let's go inside. So we have a little popper up on the neck. There is a sliding adjustment to how tight you want your neck done up. And there is a little popper to hold that flap open should you want it out of the way. Nice big zip, so glove friendly. And when we go into the inside, we can see that it is a full mesh ventilated liner. The liner is not removable. You can see the inbuilt back protector here. As I mentioned, it is quite a soft form of back protector. There is an adjustable waist strap here, which has got elastic on both sides and a big Velcro area. Now, I believe this is removable should you not want to have that in there. It's down to personal preference. Some people like the feel of that comfort around their waist. There is, however, a crafty little pocket on the inside of that. And that's perfect for loose change, credit cards in a slightly less obvious location should you ever get into any trouble. We do have some more pockets on the inside. So we've got a zip pocket there and on the opposite side. When it comes to the trousers, I've of course got the trousers and the jacket attached together right now. It just makes demonstrating the two a little bit easier. And I have used the full wraparound zip. So that enables you to attach the two together. You don't have to have it attached to each other. And you can also use the shorter zip, so it has two zips built in, the shorter zip at the back, which I'm not sure how easy it will be for you to see. There is a shorter zip, so you could have an attachment, but a slightly smaller attachment, which just gives you a little bit more mobility in the jacket. Now, these trousers really are designed to go hand in hand with the jacket. So there's a lot of similarities that we're gonna see in the technology going on, but let's have a quick run through them anyway, just to make sure we're clear. So first of all, we have that super strong, high abrasive mesh that's gonna allow a lot of airflow through to your legs. And we've got that along the front of the leg and also down the back of the leg. So key areas where you're gonna get a little bit warmer Protection-wise, we have CE level two armor in your knees. So there's a, a knee pad in here. We have a level one pad into the hip. So that's much more flexible, giving you a little bit more comfort. There is a reinforced leather area on the inside of the knee. Now that's gonna give you better durability of the trousers because it's tougher wearing, but it's also gonna help you with a little bit more grip onto the bike as you're riding along. Practicality, the pockets continue, and the same style flap that we saw on the jacket with the nice overlap to help prevent sand, etc., getting in there applies. And that is a pretty decent size pocket, actually, particularly seeing it's on your leg. And yep, the zipper to close that. You do have hip pockets as well, and they have a zipper. See how deep that is. Pretty decent sized pocket. You can see my hands well disappearing in there. So you shouldn't be losing things too easily, particularly because there is a zip to keep it closed. The flies are done up with a popper and a tool zip. We can see there. And if we look to the inside of the trousers, there is a full mesh lining. So again, it's helping that air circulation around your skin to stop you getting wetty and sticky inside. 
Moving down to the very bottom of the trousers, let's just pull the leg up so that you can see it. We have some adjustment on the upper lower leg, so just below your knee, so that you can make sure that you've got a nice snug fit of your trouser. We then have a big zip. That zip is gonna help you get your foot in and out and get your trousers over your boots. You can obviously then zip that up. There is then a big variation of tightening capability in the Velcro. So you could have a slightly larger bootleg, or if you wanted to tighten it up, you can go a little bit smaller to keep it snug around your boots of choice. So protection wise, same as a jacket, we're looking at a CE class double A as far as the abrasion and st stitching strength. We have the similar design features going down with the little bits of reflective tape. And if we turn home around, there is some additional padding and grip into the bottom of the trousers that are gonna help you be a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more grippy on the bike and give longevity to the riding kit. So there we have it, the Cayenne 2 jacket and trousers. This is a warm weather, high ventilated suit. So what could you wear on your feet? Let's have a look. We've got the Expedition GTX boots from Revit. Now this is the Expedition boot from Revit's 2022 range. It is a fully waterproof Gore-Tex membrane, so you're gonna have dry feet. Now, this is designed to give you the same protection that you'd get in a motocross boot, but with the versatility, comfort, and flex that you're gonna need for trekking or out adventure riding. Now that comes from the dynamic sport frame, which has been designed into this boot. So I'll try and demonstrate the flex that you get on this. It's easier if I undo the Velcro because my arms aren't as strong as a leg, but you can see here the amount that that ankle will allow you to flex. Doesn't quite look so much in my hands, but you are gonna get a little bit more ankle movement, but that is a solid frame, so it's gonna protect your ankle should you need it in a, in a rocky environment when your foot goes down or something like that. The sole of these boots is actually a Vibram sole. So you've probably heard of the brand. They are pretty well known in high performance shoes, super grippy, long lasting, durable soles. And Revit have teamed up for them to give you a Vibram sole in these boots. You've got a nice little step to give you nice traction and grip should you be doing walking around as well. And we can see there is a additional bit of padding for your gear shifters. So you're not gonna be wearing them out or getting bruising on your foot in quite the same way as you can. Grippy panel on the boot is gonna help you grip onto the bike as well. Going to the fastening side of the boot, there is a huge Velcro panel that you can open up. And then inside we have the BOA lacing system. Now this is a system I've actually seen in snowboarding boots and it's incredibly easy and quick for when you've got big gloves on. So let's demonstrate it. We can see all of the wires going through the boot. We have a little twisty knob here and you're gonna twist that and it evenly ratchets and pulls the laces tight. So it's giving you a nice consistent fit across the boot. And you can keep twisting that as much as you like. To release it, you simply put it out and it releases nice and quickly. So you've got no lace, faff, or anything like that. Nice and easy system. And again, consistent down the foot, covered up by the big Velcro. Okay, so overall, this boot is gonna give you a lot of protection. It's got reinforced toe, all of the ankle support. It's fully waterproof, and it's designed to give you comfort, rugged strength for your adventuring. So let's have a look at something for your hands. Next up, we have the matching glove for the Cayenne suit. So this is a Cayenne 2 glove, and it's available in the same color range that the jacket and trousers are on, so coordination obviously is an important one. Do check out the XL Moto website for the colors that are available. So this glove is a highly ventilated glove, again, to keep you cool in the warm weather riding, but we do have lots of protection. So we've got a full knuckle bar across the knuckles. We have additional little protection points going down the fingers. 
We have ventilation all the way down the underside of the hand. We have a soft gel on the palm and a slider on the palm. Again, keeping your hands safe and protected. When it comes to the fastening, that's something I really like about this glove. So I'm gonna show it to you. A lot of gloves, you tend to have quite a lot of bulky material and you're trying to get it in your sleeve and get it comfortable and level. So if we put this glove on, what we can see is Revit have designed a strap kind of system. And when you pull it, it pulls across from the palm on the opposite side and then wraps around. So it's a really nice, snug, close fitting closure, which is going to make fitting your jacket on a lot easier. Dexterity wise, you've got a lot of dexterity in these gloves. It's quite a thin material, yet still giving you the protection that you need should you put your hand down. And the knuckle protections are giving you a CE level one protection up there. The Revit Kyan 2 jacket features a highly ventilated and strong Scholler mesh, connected loops for Sagar neck brace, it's hydration back compatible, a removable kidney belt with secret pocket for change and cards, practical pocket space with waterproof zippers, has CE level 2 shoulder and elbow armour, and a Seasoft back protector and ready to add Seasoft chest protectors is a CE class AA. The Revit Kyan 2 trousers feature a highly ventilated solar mesh fabric for optimum airflow, stretch panels above the knee and lower back, practical pocket space with zippers, and is CE level two knee protectors with CE level one hip protectors. It's CE class AA. The Revit Kyan 2 glove features a lightweight summer glove, perforated leather sections, grip patch at the palm and thumb, hard shell knuckle, palm sliders and thumb protector, connect fingertip for screen operation and a CE level one knuckle protection. The Revit Expedition GTX boot features a waterproof Gore-Tex membrane, a Vibram sole, a BOA closing system, dynamic sport frame protection, reinforced toe box, sea soft tongue and hard shell shin plate, ortholite comfort insole and is CE level 2 certified. So that is a couple of the highlights in the adventure range from Revit's 2022 catalogue. Now you can find all of these products and a lot more on the XL Moto website but what we'd love to hear from you is what sort of kit you are riding in. Have you tried any of these kits in the older generations? What are you most excited about, about the new kit that's coming out? Let us know in the comments and also let us know if there's any particular kit you would like us to do videos on. I'm Vanessa Ruck. Thanks so much for joining me here in the XL Moto Garage and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.